If the NEB is to have any credibility in this country moving forward, then now is the time to change that. A final attempt to end the Trans Mountain Pipeline. One BC Environment Group has lodged a legal petition to force the NEB to look into the effects the pipeline will have on climate change. Stand.Earth submitted its petition Monday, hoping the government body will see that building the Trans Mountain Pipeline goes against Canada's commitment to fighting climate change. This project, this proposed project, is absolutely or squarely irreconcilable with Canada's commitments um, from the, the, the Paris Protocol to, to reduce greenhouse gases uh, by 2030 to 30% uh, below 2005 levels. The National Energy Board is currently reviewing the controversial pipeline as ordered by the Federal Cabinet last year. Tuesday marks the last day in which interveners like Stand.Earth can make submissions to the NEB for their review. They're hoping impacts on climate change can be included before it goes back to Ottawa. The NEB has been instructed to report back to Cabinet by February 22nd, 22nd. Unless the NEB seeks an extension to do a full review of the climate impacts of the projects, it will be sent back to Cabinet again for a decision without ever having a full review of climate impacts. This isn't the first time that Stand Up Earth has filed a petition with the NEB. They did so back in 2014 under the Harper government, but it was rejected. They say they're hoping this time the NEB can put politics aside and climate first. This process has been based for the last many years more on political posturing than it has on evidence. If the NEB is to have any credibility in this country moving forward, then now is the time to change that. In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.